how to upgrade the RAM in a Dell Inspiron 15 5502 or 5509. First, make sure you power down your computer. Second, flip over your laptop. Remove these screws. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then these two screws get loosened but do not come out. Then you take a card or a guitar pick and you go around popping off the lid till it's fully and completely loosened. Once you get it all loosened there is this little mm, stud and you kinda slide the lid up and then lift it away. Otherwise, you're going to break this right here. Next, you're going to undo your battery cable carefully. I kind of needed two hands. Then what you'll do is you'll open up your laptop, you'll push the power button to exhaust any power that may be left in the capacitors and in the system, whatever. But as you can see, my battery cable is no longer plugged in. Now here and here is where the RAM goes. My laptop comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and that's it. Now I know the Crucial brand is compatible with my laptop. Crucial Notebook DDR4 3200MHz SODIMM 1.2V CL22 RAM. Two 16 gig sticks of RAM. Now I'm not sure if I can do this with one hand, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to pop these two arms out. Oh, I got it. Till the RAM pops up. And then you'll carefully slide it out. You'll take the new one. You will gently you will take your ram slide it in until it's all the way in. Let me make sure it's in evenly. It's hard to watch and do and record all at the same time. Then you pop it down onto the other side. So once again, I'm going to take my RAM And I'm pretty sure it can only go in one way. Yep, as you can see, the slot doesn't line up with the tab. So it can only go in one way. I'm going to take, slide it in, and carefully make sure it's in even on both sides. And then push it down, but I think I need both hands because I'd like to pull these tabs out a little bit. 
So give me a moment and I'll be back. Okay, so it's definitely in there all the way, evenly on both sides. And I'm going to take and push down till she snaps into place. And that she did. Later in another video, I will be installing this. My laptop originally only came with 128 gigabytes of hard drive space. hundred and twenty eight gigs but they do have an additional slot for additional memory well not RAM but hard drive memory SSD this is a solid-state drive this is two gigabytes sorry two terabytes I totally lied And if you know a thousand gigabytes is one terabyte, there's two thousand gigabytes, which equals two terabytes. But essentially, this will slide into here and pop down into this space. But Dell does not supply you with the mounting bracket for the secondary SSD slot. So, I am currently waiting for them to ship that to me in the mail. I'm not sure when it'll get here, but when it does, I'll be posting another video on how to install more memory, more storage memory. So before you close up your laptop, do not forget to plug your battery back in before installing the cover and then I'm going to start up the laptop and verify that it's registering the RAM that I just installed. Here's where the RAM goes. I put 16 gigs on each side Later I'll be installing the SSD into memory slot number two, and I'll be right back. Real quick before I reinstall the cover, as you can see, there is a little C-clip around each one of these screws preventing them from falling out. If you do unscrew them and they end up coming all the way out when you pull the lid off just look up around this area for the little clips to see if you can find them I just started up my laptop and this is the first thing that I see Inspiron 5502 alert the amount of system memory has changed I'm going to hit continue because I know this happened. So down in the corner in the search bar I'm going to type this PC. Then I'm going to right click on this PC and I'm going to check out the properties. And there you go. Installed memory, known, also known as RAM. I verified that I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. I hope that you enjoyed my video. I'm, I decided to check that the RAM was being registered by the computer before I installed the cover. That way, if anything was wrong, I could not have to disassemble the computer all over again. Um, 
If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out my other videos, um, and stay tuned for the future video coming out of me installing the new SSD. Take care and have a great day. One last note to add real quick. These two screws on each side of the mouse pad, if you screw them in too tight, your mouse will be like your click pad, whatever you want to call this track pad, will be perma clicked. So what you need to do is just back your screws out just a little bit, not so that the case is loose, but so that you can right and left click your mouse. Good luck with upgrading your RAM.